Okay, 5 pi over 3. This is the first example we've done where the denominator is odd. And this makes a big difference because when we cut our top half into an odd number of pieces, well, the x-axis still stays the same, but now the y-axis isn't one of the cuts. So it makes it a little tricky in that you just want to make sure you don't count your y-axis. So what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting three pieces. They don't look totally equal. That's not the best, but... I can definitely see it doesn't look like the y-axis, so that's what I always want to make sure is just make sure that my y-axis is not one of my cuts. So here's O, here's A, there's my initial arm, and I'm just going to count my way around. So there's pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 3, which is the same as pi. So just remember that 3 pi over 3, you can always simplify these, and I get pi. The next one's 4 pi over 3, and the last one is 5 pi over 3. So that is the terminal arm right there. So I can mark in P, and there's OP, and we just have to sketch the angle in. And now to find our reference angle, so I'm just going to mark this little angle in between the terminal arm and the x-axis is the reference angle. And again, it's just one piece, so it's just pi over 3. And it's not a big surprise, 5 pi over 3 has a reference angle of pi over 3. Coterminal angles, well, the denominator's 3, so I know there's 6 pieces. I always just double that and then add that to the numerator. 5 plus 6 is 11, so 1 coterminal angle is 11 pi over 3, and then 11 plus 6 is 17 pi over 3. So again, all you have to do is double the denominator and add it to the numerator, and you get a coterminal angle. Formula for the coterminal angle is... 5 pi over 3 plus or minus 2 pi n and just always remember that n is a whole number.